to uh, Photoshop, you have to remember that everything that is selected in Flash, if you change something to it when it's selected, it will change it. All right, it's not like Photoshop. See right here, if I have that selected like that, you know, and my object is selected, all right, in Photoshop, if I change the color, that's not going to change the color of my object. In Flash, it will, as you can see, all right? The selection is very important. It will do changing stuff, okay? Now, other tool. Under it, right here, the pen. Click on the pen. It's the pen tool, just like it says. All right? There's nothing to it, nothing tricky to it, right here. The good thing is it calls itself pretty well, and it does do a pretty good system, you know, of having optimizing your shape. All right. Um, uh, let me see that. Same thing. You can change the stuff. You can have sharp corner or not. I mean, that's the classic, just like you did earlier. If I select it right here, uh, I can do the same change that we did earlier, so the dotted line and so forth. All right, and that's for the pen. All right, now you have the brush. I use the brush more than the pen, by the way. All right, now the brush is really cool because. By the way, the color of the pen is basically the color right here. The color of the brush is right here. That's the feeling color. Okay, remember that. Because that, that, and you can see it right there. Okay? And you have a smoothing, so you can smooth your stroke, your stroke, sorry. And right here, let's say I do a shape, whatever shape. And I want to finish it right here. Now, you see? See what happened when I stopped? It actually optimize my drawing to make it round and smooth right here. That's neat. What if you didn't want it? If you didn't want it, good question. Yeah. Zero in the smoothness, and that should, all right? That keeps it. Good question. All right? So you have your, let's say we do whatever, mesh we want, I'm going to smooth it, I like it smooth, alright you guys, that's, that's just me, alright, um, you have a couple options right here on your brush, okay, um, you have your alpha, first of all, so you can change the alpha, which is the transparency of that brush, it's pretty useful, not a bad thing, okay, now the size of your brush, that's one thing that always bothered me, you guys, with uh, flash is that in reality right here let me take that out Hold on. right here you have the brush size you have the brush shape I know it's hard for you guys to see it's right in the corner so you have a brush a brush shape that's rounded it could be flat see right here like that like a knife in, uh, in painting, basically, all right? The size is right here. That's what bothers me. That's the size you got. You don't have a place where you can say, hey, I wanted 20, or I wanted 30, or I want 25, okay? That does bother me, and that's personal, all right? <coughs> so I may make it a little smaller. That's your size. We we'll change back the brush to the rounded shape right here. And I'm gonna do whatever mesh not very important. Right here, actually a little bit better. Right there. By the way, who went to GDC last week? Nobody went to GDC? <laughs> I see. <laughs> GDC is cool. GDC will be the only show where I would still go. I have to go to um, Seagraph for my other school. That's just, I hate it. Because right, it's commercial. All right? GDC is the real thing. If you're really into games, go to GDC. Just trust me. It's small, it's a little expensive, but it's really cool. All right? So now you have your, 
your shape right here okay we are going to use another tool right here the little paint bucket right there in your paint bucket right here we're going to change the color put whatever color we want uh, let's put some type of uh, darker gray whatever and we're going to fill in that shape right away it fills it in nice clean perfect no problem okay again we can still go and adjust our stuff the way we want it will adjust the inside you can adjust the I mean the outside you can adjust the inside too of that shape all right that's pretty cool that can be animated by the way that's animatable we'll get back to animation next week all right you guys by the way uh, but that definitely can be animated which is pretty cool to do a lot of things like a heartbeat for example I work fairly well very easily like that all right so that, that's a pretty cool thing to do again you can change everything about it and the colors as much as you want that's the strong point you don't like that gray change it for another gray you don't like gray at all change it for another color all right? it doesn't matter that's really quickly do the job all right now obviously right here that's the eyedropper for the color to choose the colors all right that's classic photoshop story okay now that's the eraser tool right here all right now in the eraser tool right here same situation that you have for the brush zoom in and that's something that's pretty cool for vector actually just erase it and it erases it nice and clean you guys which is amazing for a vector graphic I mean if you know vector graphics and all they used to be years ago you know like I you know that's that's why you don't want to teach it so much because I know how much of a pen it can become you know but when I open flash again I'm like wow this is a lot better than it used to be man that's almost like playing with bitmaps almost all right so I thought that was pretty cool you can even go in the in the between and it actually does work uh, vectors really neat that's all I have to say now right here you have so we went to pretty much all the tools right here all right that's to change I don't know what it's not doing it right here I don't know. that should be to change that just the um, oh that works with the, the pen only to so change just the, uh, the ink the ink on the contour all right I don't use it very often you guys because you can just change it by selecting it and changing it so I don't see much of a use I'm sure there's more use for or to it but just not too into it okay <coughs> okay 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 let me see that now obviously again let me make a new one quickly uh, you can definitely change some of the brush options again for uh, radio and that's let me come to that right now actually you make your object alright now let's say you want to have uh, some type of fall off well, actually let me do something better than that demonstrate that uh, You're making a ball all right let me put that into a solid all right and you want to really have that ball looking uh, you know 3d as much as possible right okay what you're gonna do is very simple you're gonna select that and you are in the painting process right here it's a standard right there basically okay you're gonna change that for something like radial for example boom you see how I change it and that gives you the radial effect you're looking for now you can change in the radial thing right here you can change its color scheme all right so you can be uh, I want it black for example actually no I want it grayish right here oh, let me select it sorry grayish right here and actually that's the inverse right here 
All right, and now you have some. Oh yeah, I apologize, you guys. You guys are. That's the format of that. Uh, it's because I will change in a couple seconds. All right, mine is nice and round. It's because the computer is a square pixel, square bitmap, when in reality your video is not a square pixel. All right. So what is looks round on my screen is going to get squished into a rectangle, basically, so something oval on your screen. All right. Don't worry about that. Okay. If I wanted to make it oval on yours, I mean the proper way, I would have to do that. Basically, make it oval on my screen. That would make it round on yours. All right. Okay. Remember that. That's fairly that's a fairly important concept I just told you. Huh? Uh, in reality, not so much for flash and the internet because it's always a square pixel because it's computers. So you don't have to change anything. All right. Uh, but for console games, this is a pretty strong concept. Let me. Uh, any questions? All right. 